on Fox 28 News, troopers investigate a crash involving a horse-drawn wagon, a crash that sent two Amish teenagers to the hospital. Now we've had a crew on the scene since it happened around 6.30 tonight. Yeah, a car crashed into that wagon along Pleasant Valley Road in Eden Township. That's in Lincoln County. Fox 28's Rob Wells live in Mount Vernon tonight where at least one of the victims is being treated. Rob? That's right, Bob. Investigators say at least one of those teenagers was brought here about two hours ago to the Knox Community Hospital for treatment of head injuries after that terrible crash. In the meantime, troopers say this should be a tough lesson for all of us, especially when we get behind those horse-driven rigs this time of year. Investigators say that the driver of the PT Cruiser was heading west when her car hit the back of a horse-drawn wagon with two Amish teenagers on board. The crash sent the wagon into a nearby ditch and peeled the hood of the car back like a can. Investigators say that Laura Frank was driving the car. And she said the sun was in her eyes and uh, she just uh, slammed on her brakes but uh, hit the back of the wagon. Newton Township emergency crews shut down the road while the 15 and 17 year old teenage boys were rushed to the hospital. <laughs> Investigators say that the pair had just pulled out of their family farm less than a mile away when they were hit. Uh, I don't know what to say about the uh, drivers of the uh, operators of the wagon, you know, there may be some blame there. The two horses pulling the wagon were not hurt and taken back to the farm while another set came in to get the busted rig back home. Now, investigators warn everyone to be careful behind horse-drawn rigs when traveling across Ohio. The message is the same every day. You know, pay attention uh, to what's going on around you, especially ahead of you. Certainly some good advice tonight. In the meantime, the woman behind the wheel, we've learned that she is a registered nurse in Zanesville. No word yet on final charges in the case. Reporting live in Mount Vernon, Rob Wells, Fox 28 News.